Huh? What's the matter, Law? It's just weird how quiet it is. Are you sure? Isn't this how it normally is? Usually there's a little more going on. Like building and repairing houses and stuff. But there's none of that. Now that you mention it, you're right. Did they halt the repairs or something? Well, if it isn't the Blazing Sword, and Law too! Just call me Elfin. But that's no way to speak to our hero and savior! <clears throat> uh, hey, uh, what's going on? It looks like the construction's on hold. It is. Is that why you're here? No, I was just wondering. Mind explaining? You know how the Crimson Crows are in charge of reconstruction? Well, they've been busy lately. Which means the repairs on my house are taking forever. My family's tired of waiting so long. We could make some progress if we at least had materials, but those damn Zoogles... So you want us to do something about that? Yes! You can find what we need in the Iglia Wastes. Should be a cakewalk for a hero, right? <laughs> Talk about getting carried away. Sheesh. I guess this is what heroes do now. Alfin. Still, we can't ignore this. Come on. <sighs> Something's bothering you again. People rely on us because we're heroes. We just drop everything to help them because it's expected of us. Is that really the way it should be? Really? I guess... <sighs> hmm... Well? Yeah! Sure. That phrasing has got me especially curious. What exactly can't be placed, and where? Could it have something to do with collecting clothing? I don't know, but something seems off. Zoogles have been gathering recently, huh? The Iglia Wastes haven't changed. Still nothing but Zoogles living here. Not to be rude, but it's not exactly the sort of place I'd want to live anyway. I won't forgive you! One more! Where are you going? I've been carved through Mega one! Ray, Mega Ray! Tiger Blade! Explosive Ray! Prepare to be steel! Mega Ray! Frozen! Hammer! <laughs> no Take armor! Not me! <laughs> Remind me to stay on your good side. Take it! Astral Energy! Full throttle! Looks like it could be worth something. This'll make... Gus even more formidable. Huh? Is that what we're looking for? Tornado! Run! Eat! 
Dirt! Didn't even break a sweat. I heard Calaglia's climate became milder after the worlds merged, but this is... It has only become milder in comparison to before. If it were to change too fast, neither the people nor plant life would be able to keep up. That's not quite what I... meant. I hope one day the people in this realm have enough water to go swimming whenever they want. These little ones are hardly worth our time. Less talking, more pummeling. Cut them apart to your heart's content. Glad you have their uses. I'll show you how beautiful I can be. Mega Ray! Hurricane Slice! Looks like we got them all. What could this be? Sure did. The part where you swung and missed, right? Not that part! Is that the Zoogle we were told to dispatch? No Mega choice! Ray. Hold on to your heart! Here I come! Double Far enough! Where are you going? Dear not in your dreams! You really don't need my help, no. huh? Who else will cook and clean for me? Damn it! I'll heal you! Not far away! Look sharp! Take this! I'm surrounded! I think we can get through this. Don't let up until it's over. <laughs> Who said anything about letting up? Thank you for all your support. Look sharp! Lightning Tiger Blade! See that? That training's paying off! Hurricane Strike! Rising Fury! I'm on! Everything we need is here. Hopefully this will help the reconstruction start again. Hmm. You're lost in your thoughts again. It was probably the blazing sword they needed. Not me. People who know you, see you. <sighs> we all have a hard time with the discrepancy between our true self and the impression others have of us. But I doubt such knowledge will help you feel any better right now. Hey, why don't we go back to Ulzebek? There's no point in staying here, anyway. Right. Let's go.
What could this be? All we have to do is get rid of that thing, right? Let's dispose of the trash. If it's in the sky, it's mine! the zoos. Wait, what's this? There's more than just clothing here. The leftovers of some kind of meal. What's it doing in a place like this? For now, let's report back to... Are you? How did it go? Not bad. That should be all taken care of. Oh, wow, that's great. I knew I could count on the blazing sword. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Hmm. The blazing sword until the bitter end, huh? I wonder what he would have done if I'd turned him down. Well, I guess. He probably would have been disappointed that you couldn't help him. But I can't help everyone. It's like I'm doomed to fail them. Sometimes I think Volron was right. This is my only choice. Drop everything every time someone needs help? Is that even me anymore? I talk to Nazami like I'm some sort of role model. But look at me. What future? Alfin. I knew it would be like this if I came to the city. Why did I agree to come? Alfin. Why did you save me? Was it just because you were a hero? No. No, of course not. That, that's not it. I... I just... You chose to fight because you had a reason, right? Regardless of what that reason may have been. Don't forget that you have friends. That there are people who can help guide you. That's part of the reason why I wanted you to come here with me. It's because I wanted to help remind you of that fact. <sighs> From what I remember, there should be someone in this city who can help you in ways that the rest of us can't. The Crimson Crows? No, not them. Doc. Right. Doc. Oh yeah, Doc's living in Olzebeck now. Life seems to be improving for these people. Even their clothes are higher quality. They're still not as well off as some other places. But they're getting there. What? Hey! <sighs> Law! <laughs> the walls have been torn down and the worlds have become one? People still divide themselves. Some do, but not everyone. Take that tailor, for instance. You're right. As long as there are those who try to join hands together, we can move forward, even if only one step at a time. You're looking good, Doc. Hmm. You aren't looking too good yourself, though. I've been wondering when you'd show up. <sighs> so, what is it? I don't know what you're struggling with, but just spit it out. That's the reason you've come here, isn't it? I can't keep any secrets from you, can I? 
So, the truth is... I see. So everyone comes to you asking for your help. I don't mind being relied on. I mean, I'm happy to help. It's just that... They take it for granted because you're a hero. That must be tough. I don't blame you. I just don't understand. Renans hate me without question, while Danans call me a hero. Who in the world am I? <sighs> we spend such a long time as slaves. In some ways, I suppose we're still trying to get free. <sighs> Listen, Alfin. How many hands do you have? Hands? Well, I have two. And how many things can you hold at once with those two hands? Ah. Oh. You think the blazing sword can hold hundreds or thousands of things at once just because he's a hero? Nonsense. Well... All they see is the legend. They can't tell the difference between Elf and the person and Elf and the blazing sword. That's your real problem, isn't it? So you need to tell them. Remind them that you only have two hands. Are you saying I should abandon people even when they're asking for my help? Not at all. You want to help everyone. That's a great mindset, and there's nothing wrong with it. However, in order for you to meet everyone's needs, you would have to grow a thousand hands. No, even a thousand wouldn't be enough. You'd still miss something. And the people would still complain. All you can do is choose what's important to you. What will you do with just those two hands of yours? You are the one who decides, Alfin. Not the people. Not the blazing sword. But you. I decide. I decide for myself. I do. Mosgul is being used as housing for Renans, so we can't go in. The Renans there must be living pretty rough. They say it's temporary until they can relocate to Pelegion, at the very least. I hear it's been improved quite a bit since Doc and I lived there. That food there looks pretty tasty. Yep, we can fix. Is 
that new recipe with it. I eagerly await the final result. What's going on? I don't know, but it's gotta be something big. That's the blazing sword, you know. Everyone, listen! I once fought with my friends against the Renan Lords. I did so because I thought it was the way to save everyone. I always thought that I had an obligation to fight, to help those unable to fend for themselves. But I realized I was wrong. I can certainly fight to some extent, but I'm still just a human. I'm not a god or a hero. What are you saying? No way! You mean you're not going to help us anymore? That's not what I'm saying. I want to do all I can. But not because I'm some hero. Not because anyone told me to. I want to do it because I choose to. Even so, there's a limit to what I can do. And that's why... You're saying you'll be a hero. Who helps when you're truly needed. Nath. When Zephyr died, we foisted that responsibility entirely on you, rather than sharing the burden. Eventually, you'll be gone. Just like Zephyr. Everyone dies in the end, whether they are a hero or not. We need to learn to fend for ourselves, and not rely entirely on you. Or on any individual, for that matter. Am I right? Right. Exactly. I believe that is the path to real, lasting freedom. For all of us. But each and every one of you will need to work together. I'm asking for your help. You heard him. The time for depending completely on others is over. From here on out, we have to find ways to do whatever we can on our own. As long as we work together, I'm sure we'll be fine. Go ahead and leave the rest to us. You focus on yourself. I'm sorry for burdening you with so much up until now. Thanks. Feeling better? Yeah. I guess, in the end, it seems I was bound by the word hero myself. You freaked me out when you suddenly decided to talk to everyone on your own like that. Those who depend entirely on others cannot truly call themselves free. A good lesson that we all should keep in mind. The people here will eventually understand. I really believe that. If everyone can learn to truly think and decide for themselves, I think they'll start seeing a lot of things differently. And hopefully, one day, they'll realize that the differences between Danins and Renans don't matter at all. So then, now that you've decided to follow your heart, what do you want to do next, Alfin? I want to find Nazimil. I'm not sure what she's going through, but I can't help but feel like she needs us. But first, I want to go to Niez. Niez? 
I want to speak to the people in different cities like I did in Olzebek. I'll start with Niez. I'll start sowing the seeds in every town, so that maybe, one day... That's quite an undertaking. Difficult for a hero, let alone one man. Well, I guess we'll just have to lend him a hand then, won't we? Niez it is then. Unlike Ulzebek, both Danins and Renans live in Niez. How do you plan to start? Good question. Do you think we should talk to people separately or together? Separately would raise questions. I believe at the same time... Yay! Hey. Yeah! Yes. Nice. Hmm. Hmm? That elfin. Right! Sacrificing donuts. Unforgivable. Uh, what's up with... Shion. Hell hath no fury like a hungry Shion. <laughs> I won't forgive you! so soon. That looks like the Zoogle we were told about. Out of our way! Magna Ray! Oh, hey, Get oh, behind me! More yeah. Zoogles? Keep right. calm and take them down! Right. Right. Tornado! Magna you Ray! Huh. It's right. almost too strong! I'll split it Magna open! Ray. Be my guest! Right. Magna Ray! Right. 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 Too fast! Stand back! I'll trip it up. I'll stop its charge. Thank you, Sara. Reinforcements Magna incoming. Ray. Not a problem. And it's dead. Pieces. Magna Ray. Will this help? Healing. I hope you're ready for this. These Thanks, little ones are hard. Be careful not to overdo it. I'm sorry. Healing. Magna Ray. Going it's in. over. Uh, 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 Go Take this. How sick. We barely managed to turn that battle. Your form is killing itself. I'm activating your battle form. You made quick work of us. Want me to pick up? Just pointing it out. All right. That should do it for the Zoogles. Let's let Cole know we're done.
We've reached our destination. I wonder how people in Niaz have been doing since... Yes. Right. You did it! <laughs> right. Hmm? I hope Cole's dream comes true. I do too. By the way... Hey! Right. I got it! <laughs> Oh, Doc. The Crimson Crows are so cool. I want to join myself someday. Nice. I'm sure you'll make it in. When you do, I'll be right there with you. How mature of you to be thinking about the future already. <laughs> the Crimson Crows isn't just it, though. There are a whole lot of other things I want to do, too. Like what? I want to go out and travel all around the world, like you guys. That's great! Traveling's a blast. Also, I still want to make something and sell it to people. I haven't forgotten my promise, Xion. I'm looking forward to you making something tasty. Have you ever thought of coming to Vicente to study? It could be an opportunity to learn about both traveling and sales. Studying, huh? Hmm. I've never done anything like that before. It sounds hard, but maybe I'll give it a try. I'll have to be brave to make life better for everyone here. Like when Alfin broke down that wall. That is laudable insight to have at your age. You should know, though, that balancing that with the Crimson Crows will be no easy feat. What if you put together a new group? It could be your very own crew. Traveling the world, doing business. Whoa, that sounds amazing. Okay, and we're gonna be called the Awesome Fearless Dreamers. Ooh, I like it. A name like that just screams courage. Huh. Don't you think it's a bit long? Well, I suppose it gets the idea across. That kid hasn't gone too far. But speaking of doing what you want, Xion, what's something you've always wanted to do? Me? I may have mentioned, but I have some general ideas. Cooking, clothing design, things like that. I haven't decided on a particular thing I want to do yet, though. I see. There's no rush, so give it some thought.
All right. Well... No. Yeah. Hmm? All right. Well? Right! Medicinal herbs that use zugal parts to grow. Weird that plants like that exist. Herbs originally grew in spots where Zugal corpses decomposed, providing the soil with extra nutrients. Wow! You were. Bring Mega it up! Ray. This one's I never finished! Azure Storm! Mega Ray! Hurricane! Annihilation! Mega Ray! Look at the You see what happened there as you crossed me? Healing Shouldn't Circle! Have done that. I'll heal you all! Eat dirt. Healing circle. Healing circle. I think the enemy is getting desperate. Got them where we want them. This ends now. Consider yourself finished. <laughs> Am I on a roll or what? Well, look who's in a bright and shiny mood. No ordinary enemy I see over there. Oh, that's a big one. Yeah, I can that one sure felt warm. good. Annihilate! You look like a shock! Finish it! Make it red! Okay. Look sharp! Lightning Tiger Blade! Blade. See that? that training's paying off! I never fixed! Shield and face! Mega Ray! Take this! Finish it! Hikara! I'll stop your movement! And I'll stop your life! <sighs> Thanks for the cover, Kisara. You were... yourself. Are you Delio by any chance? Whoa! The Blick. You're the one who gave us the elevator key. Yep. You saved. Glad you're safe. My name. I'm Delio. Nice to meet you. Your father told us what you're doing out here. But. My father. When I was forced. When you came in free. That's when I decided I. But I don't have. Delio. How about. Shion? Oh, really? Yes. Okay. 
I'm sorry I answered without consulting you first. No, it's fine. I felt the same way after all. I just want to show support for that child. Yeah, I know. It's good to be back in familiar territory. It's okay. Thanks for the fruit. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, our actions had greater benefit. That child is just like I was when I was freed from my thorns. Once I no longer had to deal with them, I thought of so many things I wanted to do. Am I selfish? No, not at all. I think it's a good thing. I'm not so sure. But after meeting that boy, I think I want to do more of the things I thought of. Is that right? Well, I'll be here to support you. If there's anything I can do to help, just say the word. <laughs> that means a lot. Thanks, Elfin. So, have you thought about what you want to do first? A little. I think that coming up with outfits sounds more fun than just reviewing clothing. Oh, yeah? I think that's great. Thanks. And a new look for you is at the top of my list, Alfin. <laughs> Just don't pick anything too wild, okay? Hmm? Finally, if only we could have flown with the wind to get here fast. Hurry it up, Elfin! Hey, you too, Lord Man! Haste makes waste, young one. Oh, don't even start with me on that! Come on, we're keeping everyone waiting! He's right. Shion and Rinwell must be getting impatient with us too. I don't believe that's the case. Look, they seem to be enjoying themselves. It feels so comforting to just sit quietly side by side, next to each other. And being able to follow through with something you've set your mind to like that. It's dependable, you know? Wow, you really have a soft spot for that sort of thing, don't you? Hmm? Are they talking about... Yeesh, kinda awkward if we butted in now, right, Alfin? Not at all. We should say something. No, no, it would be rude of us to interrupt. Let us assess the situation and choose the time to make our entrance with propriety. You mean eavesdrop. Personally, I really like those light, nimble movements. There's a graceful fluidity to them. And the strike that comes afterwards, it's always so cool, no matter which way you look at it. Strike? Hold up! 
For me, it's the poise I'm fond of. That dignified demeanor never seems to falter, all while staying alert and being receptive to even the most subtle shift in sounds. Hmm, sounds. I know, and those big, beautiful, thoughtful eyes. I keep finding myself inadvertently gazing into them. Big, beautiful, and thoughtful? She's right. Elfin does have beautiful eyes. But if anyone has thoughtful eyes, it's Dohalim. But surely big eyes refers to law? I can't wait to see Zare again. The cat! cat! When I see you speaking with other Renans, they always look so happy. It's made me realize just how many people depend on you, Dohalim. I'm glad to be able to help, but I do feel it goes a bit too far sometimes. You can say that again. Apparently there are even some who want you to be the new ruler of the Renan people. I suspect their minds are still trapped in the Renan mentality that the strong have an inherent right to rule and should be followed. Unfortunately for them, the reign they envisioned was but a fantasy, even in the old days. Going forward, they will need to face reality. Yeah, reality with no more lords or sovereigns. Though there are still those enthralled by my title of former lord, I hope to see the day when they too can stand on their own two legs. That said, I don't think people place their faith in you just because you were once a lord. I kept it from you so as not to burden you further, but... There have been quite a few requests for you in Vicent as well. Is that so? For what, pray tell? Some want you to pass on your extensive knowledge by becoming a school teacher. Others say they want you to help them learn to appreciate music. And, as a request for the elegant and handsome Dohalim, there were even some who wished to be your lover. Well, that's a scary voice. Sounds less like people want things from him and more like they just want him. Uh, I wish people talked about me like that. There he goes, talking like an idiot again. When it comes to children, they all want you to be their father. Sing them songs, read them stories, that sort of thing. It's actually rather sweet. <laughs> I see. Not all things people desire of me are quite so vapid, I suppose. Yes. As a side note, I should mention that most of these requests happen to come from women. It must be wonderful to be so popular, hmm? Kisara, why are you staring at me with a gaze like the coldest winter? <laughs> in the end, it sounds like wherever Dohalim goes, he leaves a string of hearts in his wake. I certainly do no such thing. Finally. If only we could have flown with the wind to get here faster. Always good to be back in familiar territory. <laughs> I'm hungry! So hungry! I could eat a whole horse by myself! <laughs> I bet. 
Hmm, speaking of dinner, I think it's Xion's turn to cook tonight, right? I believe so. Let's ask if she can get started sooner rather than later. If for no other reason than to settle Law down. Hmm? What? Something wrong? Hush. They sound quite excited about something. From what I've heard, a lot of people have been copying Kagari and Notio's wedding ceremony from last year. Yeah, it's a traditional Renan ceremony, but ever since they got married, it's gotten super popular, even among Danon couples. Uh, the whole thing was just so lovely. It was my first time attending a wedding, but I can definitely see the appeal. Lovely, yeah. Oh, and all the food they served was delicious, too. I know, there was so much food, but everything they served was carefully chosen. And you could taste the care put into every bite. And the flowers. The arrangement they chose for Kagari's bouquet was a perfect fit for her. Also, during the banquet after the ceremony, Kagari and Notia were telling me the whole story about how they found their new house. They said it was okay if it was simple and bare bones. They just wanted a warm place where they could spend their days together. I want that too. A joyous ceremony for a loving couple starting a new life together. <laughs> I guess dreams really can come true. It was a perfect day. <laughs> Sounds like someone may have been taking notes. N no, it's not like that. Anyway, Kisara, how about you? Me? Hmm. Well, I certainly don't think marriage is the most important thing in life. That said, I'll admit having a wedding ceremony does seem nice. Really? It sounds like you both feel the same way then. Oh, speaking of which, Kisara, do you remember what you said at Kagari and Notio's ceremony? About the bouquet toss? You mean how if you can't catch a bouquet, you'll end up always being single and alone? Yeah, I'm sorry about that. As it turns out, that isn't true at all. What? It isn't? Apparently not. I actually just found out recently myself. I'm really sorry. I shouldn't have mentioned it without checking first. This is quite an interesting conversation. In more ways than one. Seriously? Who cares about weddings and all that kind of stuff? Let's go already! I'm starving! If we must. Personally, I feel it's rather boorish of you to spoil their fun. Hey! You guys talking about weddings? Oh, you three are finally back! Yeah, it turns out weddings are all the rage these days. I have heard the same. There is no denying that Notio and Kagari's ceremony was a delightful occasion, filled with warmth and understanding. That's for sure. Even after the ceremony was over, Xion just kept going on and on about how nice it had been. I... I don't know about that. Really? I guess I never realized. Law must be misremembering, that's all. Anyway, I've got a dinner to make. Seems like it's a bit of a touchy subject for her. It would probably be best not to press her on it. <sighs> what is it, Alfin? Is something the matter? No, sorry, I... I'm just realizing that there's so much I don't know. I had no idea that weddings were popular, that Xion was so interested in them. Any of it. Don't let it get to you. Paying attention to such things is simply not in your nature. Damn, Dohalim. Are you trying to cheer the poor guy up or rub salt in the wound? No, it's fine, Law. Dohalim is right. Still, it's something I need to work on. Otherwise, it could get me into real trouble in the future. Maybe someday I'll, uh, find someone I want to marry. If my bride is someone who cares deeply about the wedding ceremony, then that means it should be important to me, too. I don't want to use my own ignorance as an excuse to make my bride-to-be do all the planning. That would be a huge burden for one person to carry, right? That may be the case, but I'm still not sure what you're getting at. I just think that it's important to know about weddings. Not only weddings, but marriage in general. I need to learn more about them so I can be prepared. I want to do some research and fill in the gaps in my knowledge. That way, I'll have the confidence to help out and make informed decisions when the time comes. But I've never done something like this before. I have no idea where to even begin. So... You're saying you want us to help you out? You got it! To be honest, I don't really know that much about the subject myself, though. Thanks, Law. 
Oh, speaking of which, you should definitely make sure to ask Xion for help. There's probably nothing about nuptials that she doesn't know. No. Sorry, but I, uh, want to keep this a secret from her. Because, um, I'm doing this for my own benefit. So I want to do as much of it as possible on my own, without being a burden on anyone else. I realize I'm asking for some assistance from all of you guys, but I don't want to bother Xion with this. If I did, then I'd end up relying on her too much. I really want to avoid that. So, I want to do this research, but I also want to keep Xion from finding out about it. Can you help me? Whoa, that was a whole lot of words. But I think I get what you're trying to say. You could have just said you don't want to cause trouble by not knowing anything, because you finally decided you want to marry Xion. Ow! You need to work on your filter law. You don't have to say every thought that pops into your head. You aren't a little kid, are you? Ah! Oh. Sorry. My, my. Those growing pains can sure pack a wallop. At any rate, I think I speak for all of us when I say we are sympathetic to your cause. We shall assist in your research and keep it to ourselves. You should go about this endeavor in your own way. If you do not wish to involve Xion at this time, then so be it. But be mindful that should she find out, you'll likely need to explain all of this to her. The pursuit of knowledge is a noble one. I'm rooting for you, Alfin. Thanks, all of you. I'm gonna take advantage of this opportunity to gather as much info as I can. <laughs> <laughs>